much for for organizing this and and the senator I, you know laid laid out um i think really well what we managed to achieve uh over the last couple of years and what still needs to be done but um think about where we were around this time two years ago um this was actually i think the day if not uh exactly the day maybe within one or two days when we had our our first COVID cases popping up uh, in states across the country, or at least our first ignition. This virus was amongst us and they're going to have profound effects on, on this country. And then the economy of the United States essentially collapsed. We, millions of people were sent home from, from work. Um, virtually every business in this country that was not deemed essential, every business that uh, that that the actual people walking in the front door that wasn't absolutely essential had to close its doors. And now look at where we are today. This was the first economic crash in the history of the United States that the American people emerged from with more money in their pockets than they had before the crisis hit. It's absolutely remarkable fact. And it didn't happen by itself. It happened because of the work that we all did together. And one of the most important federal programs that contributed to that success was what we're talking about today, the Paycheck Protection Program. Um, in my congressional district, my little district, uh, about 20,000 small businesses got loans, saved around 200,000 jobs. Uh, and we have 750,000 people in my district. So that gives you a sense of, of how profoundly important that was. 20,000 businesses, 200,000 jobs. So that's the average business size is about 10 people. So these were really small businesses that, uh, that we were helping. Uh, in town after town, from Phillipsburg to Somerville to, uh, to Chester to Westfield, um, all across my, my district, uh, virtually every small business every mom and pop shop, every main street business came out uh, on the other end, uh, at least okay. We lost a few, but we preserved the vast majority. And uh, jobs, it's character of the community. Senator Booker said that small businesses employ 50% of 100% of the character of our small towns. Um, they're the reason we, we have downtowns that people wanna go and shop in. And of course, we all know that there's one type of business in America that was not gonna be hurt, and that's businesses like Amazon. We could very well have emerged from that crisis with an economy that was an entirely uh, massive online retail corporations with people sitting at home, going online to shop and uh, with with our downtowns absolutely devastated. And we prevented that from happening because of the PPP, because of the Restaurant uh, Act, be, because of the Shuttered Venue Program. Uh, um, some of the most successful economic uh, uh, programs that the US government has ever undertaken and done so under extreme pressure in a very short period of time. Now, we still have a lot more work to do. Um, we saved a lot of jobs, but we have a lot of challenges in our economy right now. And there are two ways of looking at those challenges. There are folks who are critical of what we did, who basically say the reason for rising prices right now is that we spent too much money. Well, I'd like to ask them, what of the things that we spent money on would you not have done? Would you not have done the PPP program? Um, there would have been no inflation. I mean, people would have had no money to spend but that would have been absolutely catastrophic. I'd much rather be in a country where people do have money to spend and we have the challenge of ensuring that those global supply chains catch up to the extremely high level of demand from consumers and small businesses to be out there in the economy uh, and buying things. And, and that's why House and Senate right now, we are working together uh, on legislation in the House. It's the America Competes Act. Uh, and I wrote a major section of that uh, to try to make sure that we bring our supply chains home to America, particularly for goods and technologies that are critical to our national security, 
and to our economic security. We got to make sure we get microchips built in the United States again. Uh, we got to make sure that we're building batteries, the key components of solar panels and uh, all the stuff that's going to power our transition to clean energy. And yes, we got to keep gas prices under control. A lot of small business in, businesses in my district worry about that, whether uh, they're, uh, you know, they're driving things around themselves or just depending on their employees being able uh, to drive to work. And that's going to be a particular challenge uh, given the Ukraine crisis. But the president is taking steps to mitigate uh, the impacts of that crisis on, on our pocketbooks. So basically, this program uh, saved the jobs of millions and millions of Americans. Now we got to make sure we protect the value of their paychecks. Uh, but we're going to do that with the same degree of pragmatism that uh, enabled us to have the successes of the last couple of years. Thank you so much. Happy to take any questions. Thank you, Congressman. And I will say for anyone, uh, if you do have a question,